hi guys uh, so in this tutorial series we will be learning how to model a car in SOLIDWORKS so I'll be taking here the Camaro Chevrolet uh, Camaro and uh, uh, mobile while I'm creating this tutorial I am uh, I'm assuming that um, you all have a uh, basic knowledge of SOLIDWORKS and if you don't then you watch my previous tutorials and uh, and then it would be good to watch this series and also the uh, I came through this tutorial uh, on the internet and I used it and I found it quite interesting so I'm uh, you know, making up the tutorial uh, on the, the basis of that one only so uh, the link will to that uh, text file will also be shared in the description description below so you can watch that also So, for any car modeling, for any surface modeling to take place, then there are some basic requirements. I mean, uh, you uh, for the first requirement, which I already told you that uh, you know the basic works okay. And uh, secondly, when whenever you want to do anything, I mean, to model any uh, car, for example, in this case, so you need the sketches, sketches of the of the car. I mean, uh, you. You can uh, you can uh, take a look at the internet and see how your car looks like at different angles and also you need to have uh, the front view, top view, and the right view so that uh, the modeling becomes smooth and it will be very very happy uh, it will be very very really helpful for you uh, if you get uh, sketches of that and uh, you can actually you know uh, take up the uh, on the internet and get the views. Of the, uh, I mean the drawing views of the of your car or any other product. If you don't have the uh, views, then it will be uh, difficult, and it will be I mean more like of a you have to use your imagination to model anything. So luckily, I have got uh, the front view and the top view and the right view of my of the, and the back view also of my car, which I am going to model now. So. So we'll be we will be I mean uh, proceeding step by step and it's not one uh, video series it will contain uh, many videos so stay tuned okay so let's start uh, so I'll go to my front plane and uh, now to click on sketch and I will in insert the sketch picture see. So these are the blueprints of my car and front view. Be sure that you do not uh, you know play with this and because it will interfere with the dimension of the drawing, and we don't want to do that. So I'm keeping the bottom left uh, corner of my image at the origin. Okay. So we have our first sketch here. You can also adjust the transparency level. So now I have the front one, and now I'll go for the top Click sketch and this get picture for the top view. So the top view is also here now. Okay. So now I need the view in the right plane, but you, if you see here, then the right plane is uh, somewhat like offset. So I need a plane which is, you know, uh, directly, I mean, in between, uh, I mean, just at the mid plane of this, of this one, of this cat picture. So for that, I need to create a new plane, and you can, you know, uh, first I have to make sure the distance at which and of my new plane is going to be created so i need to know that distance okay so now this is the length and it is a yes so 0.917 meter okay so i will now create a new plane the reference to that plane will be my Right plane. Yes. 
a little bit slow. I'm sorry. It's alright. And uh, distance I told you point nine one seven divided by two. So I think yes, it's looking appropriate. Click on OK. So I now I've got the plane here and I'll insert my sketch. Oops. So there, I have my sketch here. hide that pen now I have one more sketch uh, the back sketch the back view of the car so I need to I will insert that uh, in the back at the back okay so, but before that I need to know the distance I mean I will be creating a new plane so yes so this is a distance 2.115 and well, with reference to this I will create a plane with offset and now 2.115 click here and here you have the sketch now you can sorry on the sketch and take it back so now I have my back view also <coughs> so uh, the first step is complete we have all of all of our you know sketches aligned so, so we can get start uh, on our modeling of our surface modeling of the car it's important to align the sketches at the right at the right uh, you know at the right place because if not then it will interfere with the final geometry and the reason why I you know I kept this at the center because uh, if I model the half the car then I will uh, mirror the left side or the right side which I will whichever I will model first so that I get a full car so I need not to model the whole car I will just model the left side and I will mirror that to the uh, other one okay so and one more thing uh, we can you know um, because there will be many many sketches many many sketches so uh, it's my personal advice to uh, uh, so that uh, to you know make a folder for different different type of sketches because uh, for example these are the uh, basic reference sketches so you can create a uh, folder here and uh, you can create a folder here and you can you know move these sketches into that one and you can name the folder as the blueprints because it uh, it will be you know very very helpful to you because will be there will be a lot of many sketches okay so i'll see you in another tutorial thank you